When I was first contacted to do this film, it just intrigued me because I knew of Senator Ojeda's story and I just thought, man, this is a real opportunity to work on my film technique and also hopefully do some good. Another note here, none of this is scripted. five occasions. In introducing Senator Ojeda, I knew that I wanted to portray his passion and his intensity. So we thought, you know, what better way than him lifting weights, which he loves to do. The campaign wanted to include the story of the attack, and of course I did too. So we just thought, what better way to grab viewers instantly than to begin with it? And told me. Oh yeah, that shot there. Actually, it's funny. Uh, the first thing he said when I arrived at the gym with my camera that day, he said, I don't care what else you shoot. I just make sure you get a close up of this tattoo right here. <laughs> he pointed at his tattoo on his calf. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Time, he reached into the vehicle and grabbed an object and then ran around and struck me in the back of the head. Here, I'm going to do an effects video uh, explaining how I did that, but here we're at the actual scene of his attack. I knew that it would bring more emotions out while he was explaining the story if we was at the exact location of where it happened. I could feel it in her the anger. We wanted his son, Richard Ojeda III, to be in it. He was actually traveling in Mexico at the time, so we worked out a FaceTime. Kayla's dialogue here is perfect to represent the determination of Richard Ojeda. Think, okay, well now you really have to win. I'm trying to fight for the people that work for a living. You know, look at these houses. These are not big. This is my favorite scene because it really brings the humanity back to the voters, especially in poverty-stricken areas. These are people too, and I think that really resonates with people. I hope it does because it does with me. Stand up against other legislators when they say people need to learn to live within their means, but yet they have no concept of what life is like to a single parent that is trying to put food on the table for her child. Powerful words, and I designed the music to hit in those particular moments to make the viewer emotionally dive in. The music is almost as important as the story itself. You really need a track that not only says, this is who I am, but this is where I'm going to take you. Washington, D.C., to try to get our health. This film was shot in two days on December 7th and 8th of 2017, and we had the final revised and delivered with graphics on December 12th. Go home with your family. It's really important to me to bring the candidate's relatability to the forefront. So that is why I shoot decorations in the home. I shoot the photos of the kids and we can see that he is a father. He is a husband. He is a family man. He is a veteran. All of this is very important to bringing the candidate's relatability to the forefront. When I left Senator Ojeda's office, I knew he was going to do what he said. And he stood up and went to bat. When I initially start constructing a candidate's biofilm, I just have a conversation with them and find out, what are you passionate about? What are you fighting for away from politics? And I take that conversation and implement it into the framework of each process, whether it would be the music or the look or the way it's edited or the graphics, everything. I find that utilizing that original conversation really helps to create something special. When he says his phone number here, that's actually improv. He was speaking on a particular issue and then all of a sudden he pulls out his phone and he says his phone number. And I asked the campaign, can we put that in there? Because I think it'd be pretty unique. And thankfully they agreed and it's still his phone number today. And the people will be heard, which was a strong way we felt to end the message, that this is a campaign for the people.